What's up guys, welcome to Stranded Deep once more. It's been quite a while since we've been in here, hasn't it? Well, yes indeed it has, and there has been so many updates to this game that I feel that now is the time to actually do the survival series on it, because before, you were stranded out here, yeah, and that's fine and everything, but there wasn't really that much content. You started out with, you know, primitive tools, you started with a lighter and, you know, a water bottle, everything. Now you have literally nothing. And that's why I feel it's really exciting, because now you are completely lost, like you have no no chance of surviving if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, which I didn't, so I died the first time around. And I actually wanted to get to the point where I could show you guys something that, you know, is not just the basic stuff with collecting rocks and sticks. So what I have done is build a whole bunch of water resources. The one has just been emptied yesterday, and this one is, well, full. We got this one over here. This one is a little bit... Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, so those are bats, apparently. And also, I believe I had a... Yes, I had a bow. Uh, I think I can just... No, no, I can't. All right, but if I find that arrow, I can still pick it up. You know what? I want, I want a bat. Okay, I want a fucking bat. I want it right there. Yes! Yes, I fucking got it! Oh, that is unbelievable! Where the hell is that thing? To drop it around here somewhere? I don't know, but I got it. I'm so happy I actually got it. Oh, it's right here? It's right there. Okay, so I can pick up the arrow. That's good. But now I have a fucking bat. Hell yeah. I'm beginning to feel like Ozzy Osbourne up in this bitch. But yeah, this is the bat. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, you got close quick. Let me just drop that. That is... Oh my god, that is one stiff bat. But the latest update also introduced skinning. And this is actually really cool. So you can just cut into your own stomach. <laughs> it, it looks kind of vulgar and everything. Like, vulgar? Is that the thing? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's called that in Danish, but whatever. There we go. Let me just cut that. There. Yeah, it's, I, I'm basically, yeah, I like how he says, oh, that's gross, because I am basically pulling the flesh from my own stomach at this point. Yeah, but anyways, the seagull disappeared, and now we have meat, so let me check on my stats here. I need water, and I need water bad. Good thing I have this right here. Can I not pick that up? Okay, there we go. Some things, actually, you cannot pick up while you hold other things, like, for instance, uh, small meats. Once you make a, a fire spit, I believe it's called, then you can't pick that up if you have something else in your hand. But yeah, after drinking a lot of water, shut up, bad. After drinking a lot of water and skimming the bird and everything and also putting on some more uh, stuff onto here Then we are pretty much good to go. I don't really know what the next objective should be Maybe get some more food <laughs> time. It is. Yeah, okay So maybe I could sleep actually because dark YouTube videos. They kind of suck. So I want to do this ah, another beautiful day Are those still bats? Are those still? Yeah, okay. You know what? You will never get away from me. Hang on. Can I actually do this again? That would be awesome. Can I just- No, that was so close! It may be too small for you guys to see, but it went right by. Alright, so, over here we can check on our plants. We got a few plants here. This is the farming plots that I made. And I got a bunch of scraps. And what you guys don't know is that I've actually been, you know, scavenging three different islands. And this is the third one. This is not the original starter one. I also had one of these water distillers on the original one, and then a bed as well. But yeah, this is just a little bit better, because this is a slow and reliable source, but it is, you know, there. It works. This one over here is a little bit faster, I think. So I say we go find some wood, and then we go find some holy shit. No, we don't find some holy shit, but we find some water. Fill this up about five times. That is the maximum. And three sips should do it. So that is one. Yeah, and then two. And yes. All right, all done with that. But the next thing that I want to show you is this. This has also been introduced in the latest update, along with the skinning. So what you do is that you use these little sticks known as kindling. And by the way, I have used one bunch so far. And I have survived, I think it was somewhere around 10, 11 days maybe but at this point yeah okay there we go yeah exactly somewhere around that point is gonna start bursting into flames not bursting into flames but there's fire and that's all we need actually i shouldn't waste all my arrows but this is too goddamn fucking fun it's almost like duck hunt why are they turning around now come here i know i can get some of you guys yes i fucking got it <laughs> I love this. I really, really love it because now it's not only a survival thing, it's also a first person shooter. I have four arrows left. God damn it. I spent like a lot of resources on arrows. I'm not even kidding. God, also the ocean just looks much, much nicer. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a bit more blue. Whoa, okay. I think I've been over there, by the way. Is there any bitches and hoes in here at this? Okay, I just switched to my knife. I guess that's. Okay, it, it was worn out. It's fine. A knife should still be able to. Yeah, there we go. Can I pull that out somehow? No, I'm not even gonna get this one open, am I? Okay, there we go. Uh, I still... Oh, fucking hell. I still can't do anything, and it looks to be moving, but I'm not doing anything to make it move. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I found the secret. You can walk right through it. <laughs> that's a little bit weird. Is that measuring tape? No, okay, that's... Yeah, that's a beam of sunlight. Well, okay, shit. I actually thought that you could... Oh, whoa. Okay, now we fell down. 
and now I can drag it. What the hell just happened there? Okay, again, I, I mean, it is early access and all that stuff, so I guess you should still be experiencing some of the bugs. However, I am super happy to see that they have gone the way that they have with Stranded Deep and really start to update it a lot more. So we got a new sunroof over there. Now I just need to make a freaking sunroof out of it. Also, I think that the climate is a little bit more of a factor now. You have 14 days survive, so not 10 or 11. Uh, but I think that the climate is a bit more of a factor, mainly also because once I go fishing, like for instance right here, and it's probably also a good idea to empty out most of my inventory whenever I go fish because I need the space uh, or at least yeah that much that's fine it's only an example so I'm underwater and you can see that red thing there whenever he's trying to drown that comes in like what is that 30 seconds whenever you're in the daylight but when it's night it's a whole different story. You can see it's it's not even here right now. It's starting a little bit on the bottom, but that's also it. And this is why I think that the climate is a bigger factor here. Oh, come on. Because in the middle of the night, it is super, super cold, and that thing comes on right away, meaning that you're prohibited from working in the nighttime as you would in real life. So let's make dinner because the sun is... Well, going down in one hour. So here we go. And again, you don't need to drop everything on the ground, which is a really nice optimization. I mean, the idea before with having everything on the ground and then technically crafting it yourself, it's good. But this is better. I feel like this is better. So let's craft this and let's put that right about there. Again with the freaking kindling. Come on. there. Yes. Okay. It will not go as fast as that because I know I'm cutting it because I just started talking there. But still, it takes a lot longer to make that happen. Sometimes I think it's up to eight tries or something. I'm not really too sure. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter too much because you will get there. And this one, you need one bunch. That is it. That's all I've needed so far. And I've started countless of fires. So I don't want to skin all of these yet because the, the meat, it fucking spoils. I cannot drag this. Okay, there we go. There we go. So that's, I don't know why that is like that, but apparently I could drag it. So I need this to finish cooking. And in the meantime, I have two other small, actually I have six. Okay, that was way too many i only needed four hmm, so two of those are probably gonna spoil before i ever get to eat them let's just see how these puppies are doing we're down to two on both of those guys i think i should get a little bit more water in there uh will one drop from there do or do they actually need all three to be filled up because i guess one pour from a bucket would be enough is that enough? Yes, yes it is. Okay, and then there should be another one, just enough to... Yes, perfect. So whenever I was traveling from the starting island, I also put out some trees to grow some fruit, but they they, they pretty much just died, like, right away. I was trying to get all of my stuff that I had previously onto this island from the other island. I think it's that one over there. I'm not really too sure. And I don't know if you actually need a bigger area of these. Maybe I can build two more, because I do have this corrugated scrap here just basically lying around. So if I do this... And I also have the hoe equipped, so that's perfect. Let's take a plot and corrugated scraps. It's it's becoming just a tiny bit slanted. I just want to do... Is that good? Yeah, yeah, you know, that, that looks fine. So let me just take this. The Kura fruit, which looks like an old man's ass, and... No, don't eat it! Don't... I was gonna... Oh, fucking hell. What the... F what? What? You've never gotten sick from that before. Yeah, that's another thing they need to fix is that once you have food in here, it still spoils, but it doesn't say spoiled meat. You know what I really like, though? To be able to put on more of these. Just three. Like, three small meats and then one big meat or something. Like, I don't know, but just have a bit more space, basically. Because I have, what, three chunks of meat left and I need, what? Okay, only three. Oh, we got bats! Oh, we got bats! Again, fucking again, let me just... Oh, God damn it, where in the hell? You guys are seriously unpredictable. Oh, shit. No, that's my spear. I agreed myself to never do that. What the fuck? Yeah, see, that's just fucking stupid. I threw it into the ocean. I'm an idiot because I specifically agreed with myself to not do that. To not. Well, you are done. That's perfect. I still can't pick it up. Jesus. There we go. Much, much better. So now I have... Well, shit. I need water. I definitely, definitely need water. All right. Water a brewing into steaming and into water we brewing again. Or whatever the hell. I mean, I really like this concept. It would just seem to me that a lot of the steam would escape out on the sides, right? But yeah, let's face it. You do have an endless freaking water supply around you, right? I mean, technically not endless but endless in the terms of the scale of what you're on because the ocean is fucking massive is that a meat i hear i hear that meat there we go that's better again don't fuck it up for me all right so i only need one more and this one is not cooked all right that's perfect so i guess i'm gonna cook this one up and then save that for later and well not save it for later i'm gonna eat the fuck out of it and then go to bed because it is 
Oh shit, well it's two. But yeah, in the meantime of that stuff cooking, I guess we can find another seed for our plots here, or whatever the hell that's called. Uh, I didn't know I didn't have anything else. I was kind of thinking this would be it because of the colors when I quickly look it up, but no, that's just a freaking crab. So, whoa, what the fuck? Okay, I just thought that was a person with arms just waving at me over there, but no, it's not. That's also something that I think I mentioned before, is that how cool would it be to just stand here and then see another dude on the other side of the island just waving at you? Like, it could be an easter egg or whatever, it could be like what is known as, I think, it's Fata Morgana? I'm not too sure, like, it's it's a mirage, God damn it! it's a fucking mirage. Like, a mirage of a guy just out there saying, hey, over here! But yes, we got the fire going here. Everything is awesome, and I really love the fact that, I'm not gonna do this by the way, but if you hold E to interact, you can put out the fire as well and save your wood. Like, I just, I love all the small details, however, you know, the fixing with picking up stuff and everything. Maybe they need to optimize that a little bit better, but now, I don't care, because the meat is ready. I'm gonna go to bed here, and then I'm gonna wake up in the morning. You know what, I'll wake up in the morning so we have something light to look forward to, so I just wanna sleep here. And also, I just wanna address something, that video from yesterday, where, you know, people are saying, why? Why the hell did you upload that? It's one minute long, it's called random stuff, it's just a plane crashing in Besiege. Uh, but, you know, it's it's the fact that you can upload whatever the hell you want to YouTube, and that is sort of what I want to support a little bit. God damn it, it went right by. Hang on, another one over there. But that was way too... Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Bye bye birdie! <laughs> I fucking love that. Okay, well now we have we have breakfast. That's awesome. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much why I did it. Like I uploaded that video. I know it's random and it's also supposed to be random. God damn it. Uh but yeah, that's it. Like I just wanted to upload something for the sake of upload something. And it's not an excuse, like, it's not as an excuse to say, Oh, I didn't get any videos out, I'm late, so I'm just put this out. No, because I actually put out the Scrap Mechanic one as well. But, oh, bye, bye, birdie! That was way too low, and now I lost my last, last goddamn arrow. Was that the last arrow? It was the last arrow! Okay, well, I know what I'm doing the next episode. Let me take that there. Alright, so, also, a little bit of a, a thing that I wanted to address with you guys is that if you want me to start over on this series so we're there from the complete beginning in terms of a survival series, then uh, please let me know in the comment section below. But sadly, I'm gonna have to cut it here, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.